Hello team, Coach Tim here. I wanted to take a look at Xander Shoffley today and specifically at his putting stroke. Xander does so many things fantastically, but I think he is a truly an underrated putter. And uh, while this is incredibly early in his fourth round at the 2022 Scottish Open, which he won a little bit earlier today, there are some incredibly impactful and important things that I think we can learn from this specific view here to see why Xander is such a great and uh, uh, fantastic putter. So uh, let's take a look at this. Let's see what Xander does so well from this viewpoint here, okay? And, you know, there's basically two things that I want you to notice immediately. Number one, where does Zon Xander strike the golf ball? And he strikes the golf ball almost smack dab in the middle of his club face there, okay? I can't stress how important enough that is, right? Because if you're not hitting the golf ball in the sweet spot, you might be hitting it a little bit out towards the toe or the heel, and that's going to make it incredibly hard uh, for you to be able to launch the golf ball straight, number one, as well as be able to hit the golf ball the correct speed. So, uh, you know, you're, the, the more you're not heading it in the sweet spot of the golf ball, the more that there's going to be some tendencies to have that golf ball launch at a different speed based upon what you're thinking at, okay? So that's the first thing that I want you to consider, okay? The second thing I want you to consider here is watch as Xander hits this golf ball. That line on his golf ball right now, look how much it's just rolling end over end. It's rolling dead straight. And what exactly does that mean? It means that Xander hit that golf ball with an incredibly square club face. So he's hit the golf ball with a square club face. He's hit the golf ball on the middle of the club face. He's going to be able to hit the golf ball online with a lot of those golf shots, as well as hit the golf ball with the right distance. So let's take a look at a couple of things that Xander does with his putting stroke uh, to see if we can't uh, have you implement some of those things with your own punting stroke. Let's take a deeper look. So what does Xander do that is so impactful to his putting stroke? And I think it really starts with how he sets up to the golf ball and how he grabs the golf club. He grabs that golf club with a left hand low putting grip. Now, I know that most of us believe that left-hand putting grip, left-hand low putting grip, encourages uh, a more stable putter face, a more uh, less flippy, less handsy putting stroke. And uh, I think we want to take a little bit of a deeper dive in understanding why that happens. And basically, when that left hand seems to get lower than the right hand, I want you to see how much more level Xander's arms and shoulders look, okay? Now, his shoulders become more level compared to usually what we do with our full swing when the right hand gets so much lower than our left hand, which you see Xander doing here right now with his driver. Look how different his uh, alignments are with his shoulders based upon that grip being so different. And what that primarily does is that makes the bottom of the swing circle more towards the center part of your stance or more uh, uh, striking the golf ball in an upward strike with a full swing, especially here with a driver. Now, uh, there are challenges to that because if we do the exact same thing with our putter and the bottom of the arc is too early, we start getting flippy with our putting stroke just like we do with our full swing stroke. And this is what I love so much about Xander's setup is that he's addressing the golf ball in a way that hopefully will have the bottom of the arc be almost directly uh, behind the golf ball. When the bottom of the arc is much closer to the golf ball, like Xander is capable of doing here with his putting stroke, he can have significantly more passive hands because his putter is already in a position to be able to launch the golf ball in an incredibly efficient manner. The more that your bottom of your arc is in that location, the less that you need to do to try and save things or manipulate things to hit the golf ball online. And you can really see that from Xander's down the line putting view here next. Now, it's not only about how wonderful Xander's bottom of his putting arc is, but you're also going to see here too that passivity, that, uh, you know, uh, 
lack of a need to feel like you need to save things or manipulate things uh, with your putting stroke because the bottom of the arc is so special is one of the reasons that uh, Xander's putting stroke from this view is also so spot on. Again, look how he strikes the golf ball almost immediately there in the middle of the club face. Look how little his putter face is uh, uh, being manipulated or is rotating too much on the backswing or the forward swing. Lastly, look at how little that Xander's golf club is being arced uh, uh, to the inside on both sides of the golf ball. This is an incredibly efficient and special putting stroke. So try and implement Xander's putting setup, whether it's left hand low, whether it's somehow finding a way to get the elbows and the shoulders more level, that's going to give you a better chance of having the bottom of the arc to be in the right location and to have that passive, less flippy, less handsy putting stroke that you've always dreamed of. Best of luck.